Hi, seventh grade. I'm here to quickly guide you through lesson 3.2. Um, so finally, we're moving on to how to form metamorphic rock in Amplify. And we're almost done with rock formations. So let's start with the warm up. Okay. We're going to open the simulation and for, first form sedimentary rock and form igneous rock. And we've done that before. Uh, but then we're going to move the plates and see what happens. Okay, so let's first form sedimentary. Oh, well, I added sediment, but actually that should form a sedimentary rock. And right there, form igneous rock. So we can form igneous rock. Oops. By bringing magma up. I'll do that here too. Could also weather this. Yeah, let's see what happens. Am I going to destroy the igneous rock I just created? Some of it. But I created more sedimentary. Anyway, I still haven't moved the plates. So a second layer of sedimentary. Okay, let's move these plates. Still moving. What happened to the igneous and sedimentary rock formations? So just describe um, what you see. And actually, if you analyze, you can identify um, some things and where they moved. In part two, we have a reading about the oldest rock formations on Earth. And there's actually just one question about that. And it's still loading. But the question is, how do rock formations form? How do rock formations move between Earth's surface and Earth's interior? And this is taking way too long. OK, here it goes. Uh, so these old rock formations are in a place called the Nuvuagituk, Nuvuagituk Greenstone Belt. And they're about 4 billion years old. So the Earth is only 4.5 billion years old. So that's pretty old. They've been around almost this whole time. Um, so this section you should know. Um, so we're focused on how this very old rock, uh, which is metamorphic, um, how it could be, how it can move. So there are two processes that, there are two words that you don't know yet, subduction and uplift. So basically, if we look at this diagram here, when two tectonic plates, which is what we're about to study, hit each other, Sometimes one can go under the other, and that's subduction. And then one can go up when they collide. See, it's kind of like if, my, if I brought my hands like this, sometimes they can both go up, sometimes one can go under the other. Um, sometimes they can grind side to side. But in this case, one is going under and one is going over. So this is uplift and this is subduction. Um, so basically, the stuff that maybe was deeper can come up because of uplift, and the stuff that was on the surface can go down because of subduction. Um, but basically, you want to read this article and answer this question. Um, we're going back to the simulation. So you have two missions here. Form igneous rock before below Earth's surface, then use uplift and subduction to transform the rock into sedimentary rock. So we're going to have to analyze here. Um, so let's form, let's reset. 
So our first mission is to form igneous rock below Earth's surface. So let's do that, below surface. And I can, let's do that here too. And I don't see different buttons for subduction and uplifting, so I'm just gonna press this and see if either of those, well, this is going down here. That's, that's gone. And that, so that became metamorphic. That's not what we were going for. And this is still igneous. Um, to be honest, I'm having trouble with this one, but let's just use our logic here. If I start with igneous rock um, and I'm trying to turn it into sedimentary rock, um, that's probably, I'll probably have to turn it to sediment first. So in my opinion, and maybe you disagree with me, um, I'm gonna move the igneous up towards Earth's surface, and then it's going to be exposed to weather. And then it's going to become sediment, and then the sediment might become sedimentary. Um, so I'm going to say uplift, up, and upward, and the sun. Um, then in the second mission, form sedimentary rock, then use uplift and subduction to transform it into metamorphic rock. So maybe this one we can do. We're forming sedimentary rock. So I'm just gonna create a quick layer there. Should get that layer here. Sedimentary, let's see what happens. Some of it is going down. I think we succeeded there and maybe there. Yeah, that's metamorphic and that's metamorphic. So we succeeded in the second mission. Uh, maybe you guys can figure out this first mission, but anything that formed metamorphic there, we moved downward and you do that with subduction so you expose it to more heat from the interior of the earth which can help warp the rock as we've learned about metamorphic rocks and finally for the homework um you have a choice of missions just choose one of these three missions um I'm not gonna do them for you, but let's see, transform sedimentary rock into sediment. The only way you should do this mission is if you actually do that with um, moving the plates. So actually I don't recommend that one. I would do two or three because it involves subduction. It involves moving the plates, definitely. Because you could you could do mission one just by weathering, but that's not really what we're learning about right now. And mission three is transform igneous rock that cool below the surface into metamorphic rock. Um, actually, that one we I did accidentally. So I would do two or three. Okay. See you tomorrow.